Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a video about Docker Manager and how to do a Yellowfin with hard code transcoding enabled. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, you want to go to projects. You want to click on add. You want to give it a name. <clears throat> now you do want to have a project path already set in your NAS. In this case, I have made it in the public folder on Ye called it Yellowfin, so that's what you what I will do. So I will simply go here and I will go to public and I will go to Yellowfin and click apply. After that, you want to select that you have create YAML file. And then you will paste in the YAML file of the uh, Yellowfin. I'm going to be putting this in the um, uh, description later on YouTube as well, but uh, for now I'm just going to copy paste it. So we are going to copy paste uh, the YAML file. It looks like this. You need to change a few things. Um, you need to change the, U, the time zone to whatever your time zone is. You need to change the IP of the server to match. In this case, for example, this is uh, 86 on this one, for example. And then after that, you need to make sure that the volumes match what you're going to be doing. Make sure that these match. And uh, that's basically it. Once you have done the volumes to match and you have done everything like this, all you need to do is, uh, in this case, I'm actually going to do uh, removing this one here. I'm going to call it video. And then I'm, all you need to do is just verify it. It will be verified. You can click apply. Wait for it to build. And there you go, it's up and running. After that, you can just open your browser and uh, browse to the IP of this uh, uh, on the NAS and then uh, put in the port 8096. And uh, make sure that you go into the dashboard and select transcoding and enable it. It's the Intel QuickSync one. I'm gonna show you how it looks, but, uh, but that's basically how it works. So you can see here it's running, that's it. Here it is. And um, you can click on this and you should be getting there. Uh, I'm not sure, but once you have uh, clicked on that link, you should be getting to the installation. You just proceed, proceed with the installation. And then you go into the control panel. You go to um, playback. This is in Swedish, but you will go to playback. Um, then you have uh, coding, transcoding. And then you make sure that you have Intel Quick Sync enable, and then you can click all of these. You can click all of them, and after that, uh, don't click these two though. Don't click those two. Um, and then after that, make sure that you go all the way to the bottom, and remove this one, uh, because this one can create a fatal exception error. So remove that one. Click save. After that, go to the control panel and restart. And after that, it's all good to go. And I hope this has been helpful.